Where are we now? This must be Jorgen's base of operations. So many screens. Can't stop watching TV. The jester does not have the jewel. Someone else must have stolen it. I'll bet that stolen jewel is to blame for you guys losing your powers. And for my TV going kablooey. I will continue with my investigation. I will locate the thief. But I require a backup plan. What do we do? There's only one magical object more powerful than the royal jewel. Yay! A fairy nursery muffin. Never underestimate the power of muffins. That is correct. There is the magic fairy nursery muffin recipe. I will entrust it to you, but you must catch it first. Wow! Look at that recipe go. I think he's had too much sugar. Quick, Timmy! Catch it! the recipe, collect the ingredients, and bake a magic muffin. Only oven-baked treats can save TV. Ooh, that looks delicious. Pixie sugar, moon half milk, a phoenix egg, and super strong hair-raising flour? Where are we going to get ingredients like that? There's only one place I can think of. Internet! all the ingredients from the only store that had them. And there's only one of each in the store. We got look. Wow, that's a new experience. And bam. Now to wait. <laughs> Yay! Thank goodness for the one second delivery guarantee. We have stopped delivery for Timmy Turner. I'm his babysitter. I'll take those. Oh, no, Vicky. She's gonna eat my Wait, Timmy, get down there! What is this trash? Flour, sugar, an egg. Ooh, milk! I am kind of thirsty. Uh, did you say sugar? I need some sugar to power my newest invention! And I just ran out of flour. Here you are, Mr. and Mrs. Turner. It belongs to Timmy. Oh, I'm sure he won't mind. Well, we raised him to be generous. I lost the sugar, the flour, and the milk, but the egg is still okay. Hmm, I must be losing my touch. Did you get them back? I bet you did. All the ingredients are gone, Cosmo. What are we gonna do? There are no more in the store, but don't give up, Timmy. Yeah, we've got hours before Crash Nebula comes on. We've got plenty of time to go on bizarre adventures and find the ingredients. We'd better go talk to Jorgen. Hmm, that did not go so very well. How do you know? I was watching on one of my many fairy control screens. Oh, I don't suppose they should Crash Nebula. No. You can use them to locate your missing ingredients. Move to a screen with an image and activate it. Ooh, oh boy, time to check in on the Home Improvement Channel. And better still, my latest invention can do all that strenuous TV stuff. Robot, channel 15,006, please. Fish 
could be a cinch. The pixie sugar muffin ingredient must be in that fuel tank on Dad's robot's back. <laughs> The magic TV signal must be making him sleep. How do I wake him up? The easy way. We'll take you into his dream. You can wake him up from the inside. Great plan, cutie. Guys, is this what my dad dreams about? It's pretty weird, Timmy. But dreams tend to be weird. Wow, that's pretty weird. Dad's dreaming about a giant robot? What does that mean? It means he likes giant robots. I mean, who doesn't? Let's concentrate on the job at hand, boys. Waking your dad up, Timmy. And how do we do that? We need to shock him awake. I suggest wrecking his dream. Do you mean destroy that robot? Sure, it's not real. He can dream it again if he wants. Okay, let's whip up some wishes and break Dad free of that strange TV magic. A suit? But there's no one in it. Oh, yeah, it's creepy. Let's make a wish. A suit? Ah, it's sucking your fashion sense. Dad's head is full of stars. That's a good start. This must be your dad's stream of consciousness. Ooh, streamy. We have to get down the river to reach the robot. But this boat doesn't look very seaworthy. It's as if your dad's subconscious is conflicted as to whether it helps us wake him or not. Yeah, he made us a boat, but out of weird stuff. Can we make this boat more... Boat like? Sure, Timmy. This is a dream. We simply need to stimulate the parts of your dad's brain that want to wake up. Yeah, what she said. Well, I'm no brain surgeon, but if you think it'll work, I'll give it a try. where all the really weird stuff comes from. And we should be able to wake part of Dad's subconscious here? That's right. Look for a machine that looks like a metaphor. We can use it to stimulate your dad's brain into dreaming a better boat. What does a metaphor look like? Just look for a machine, Timmy. Use Cosmo's idea bulb to lure the moths and keep going. Better. 
better than yours. This switch switches the lights. It's a switch light light switch. We need to stimulate more of Dad's 
two to go.
closely. Yeah, one more brain surge should do it.
Boxers, the threatening puppy of the two worlds. Tool. Back to your 
Initiated. Scanning. Tiny life form detected. Subroutine activated. Source code. Stomp. Initiating stomp module. Destroy tiny life forms. Run! A huge wrecking ball with a switch! Hey, that's generous. Maybe Timmy's dad wants to be wakened up.
initiated. Damage report. Out. Times have I told you not to break my giant robot inventions into a thousand pieces? Come on, Dad. It's not that bad. <laughs> ego, ego, in turmoil, turmoil. must, must wake up, up, up. <laughs> Dad? I just had the strangest dream. You were there, Timmy, and you were a very naughty figment of my overstressed imagination. Dad, I need the sugar from your robot. Hmm? Oh, you like it, huh? It's the next inevitable phase in essential technology for very lazy people. Voice-activated remote control robots. You command it using the code words. Which are? Give me some sugar, baby. <laughs> I'm going to my den to sulk and have a tantrum. But do as I say, not as I do. Your dad sure loved his robot. I had to traumatize him. But I got the pixie sugar. And where parents are concerned, it's getting what you want that counts. <laughs>